So I am not too sure what happened to Asmund. I don't know what is going on, but we're going to talk about it as soon as we find out. And we got Smugalana here to maybe break it down as well. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's talk Three, about two, one. My plans moving forward. Oh. Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you all about what my reason was for getting suspended on Twitch, and also what my plans are going forward. I gotta forward. hear this. I'm gonna try and- I gotta this hear this. Two parts, where the first part is gonna be me talking about the Twitch suspension, okay. second part is gonna be talking about myself. And the first thing I wanna start off with is something that, um, I know it might sound a little bit insincere because of how ridiculous this is, but I really mean it, and if you listen to the whole video, I hope you can see why. Everybody who's come and spoken out and talked to me and said stuff about me, uh, you know, aside from the, oh, you should kill yourself or something like that. <laughs> Bro, people absolutely hate this man. It's insane. Uh, I want to say that I really appreciate you. And I think this has been something that's a long time coming. And I actually think that this is something that not only I deserved, but it's also something that I needed. And I want to talk about what the reason for that is, but... I want to start off and just make sure that that's actually very clear. Uh, so a couple of days ago, I made some comments about Palestine and also about Hamas. And oh, man. Oh, man. All right, let's hear it. Oh, man. Strap it. Everybody, hey, strap in because it's going to get bumpy. No ifs, ands, or buts about this one. And, oh, you know, boy. Just general, uh, you know, basically opinions that were trivializing the genocide that's happening there. And I I don't really want to, like, mince words or, like, try to, like, oh, I wasn't justifying or, okay. you know, promoting it. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I said something about it that was disgusting. I said that I didn't care about innocent people getting killed by another force, by anything. And I think that that's a horrible, disgusting, mean-spirited thing to say. I mean, brother, you've been on the internet for far too long. You are desensitized to the atrocities that happen in the real world because you are always in here. He is always in his room. Of course, he's going to say some ridiculous, crazy stuff like that. Like, and this isn't any type of like, oh, it's okay, blah, blah. Like, no, like, of course not. It's not okay for him to say something like that. It's not okay for anybody to glorify the mass er eration of human lives. I, and I'm, you know, it's not the first time I've been disappointed with Zach. Like, Zach says some off-the-wall stuff all the time. But this this is pretty wild. Uh, but yeah, let's continue. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a lot of people on tw Twitter saying he shouldn't apologize. This is just my understanding. I don't get the feeling that he's apologizing for saying that the way Sharia law treats women and gay people is abhorrent. I think he's just apologizing for saying he doesn't care that anyone who follows it gets killed. Which is fair. A kid shouldn't have to die for what their parents or even just the people around them believe, in my opinion. But his criticism not. on women being second-class citizens and gay people being thrown off roofs is completely valid. Everyone thinks that's bad. It is bad. It is bad. And... I the only people saying that it's not bad are crazy people. These are like legitimately there are crazy people on both sides, right? Asman is crazy for saying he doesn't care that people are, you know, losing their lives. And then there's other people that are crazy because they're the ones that are just point blank okay with it. They don't care times 10. They, if anything, they are the type of people to say, yeah, we should encourage that. And they absolutely shouldn't. But it's like they're they're living in their own world as well. Asmund living in his own bubble and his own world of being in his room. And then you got the crazy people that are living in their own bubbles that are like, yeah, definitely. We should, uh, all this stuff should be okay with other people losing their lives because they have their own uh, sexual, uh, what, is, what is it? Like sexual preference. Like because you have a sexual preference, you should lose your life. That's absolutely insane. I, I don't necessarily think that it was really racist, really, mm -hmm. but when I'm using language like Palestinians or like the people there, rather than what my real language was, uh, I've always been very outspoken and very against religious extremism, and I still am. 
I think that any religion and any way of thinking that's going to cause you to put other people in like kind of positions below you as like Fair, you know yeah. like uh, gay people, women, uh, people with disabilities, anything like that. Uh, I think that that's a really bad position to have, and I really don't like that. And I think that my problem and my fault here was that I was making a criticism of religious extremism, and I made no effort. And I, I feel like almost I've rewatched the clip, right, or mm. a number of the clips, Obviously, and it's like I almost made an effort probably. not to draw a distinction between the two things. I think that a lot of us here can easily say that we're against religious extremism, and I am. But whenever I categorize everybody in the area as this like group, uh, then I'm the asshole, and I was 100%. the asshole. I yeah, exactly. 100%. No, what I just said. <clears throat> I'm what glad he's taking like, accountability. What if you're like a young dude in the area of the world and you always have this gut feeling that women being second class citizens or whatever is like wrong and you secretly want to change it, but you just get carpet bombed anyway because everyone around you doesn't think that way? I think that's like the point he's trying to make. Like that's the, realistically, in my opinion, yeah. Bro, I thought Alana was going to go somewhere else. I thought she was going to, you know, say something like, um, okay, well, I will say this because apparently this is what she's thinking about carpet bombing. And okay, well, I would say a young man living in an area where it is enforced that women are second class citizens, if he wants to change it, he himself will put his life in jeopardy. I think that's wrong. And he does not have the ability to speak up for himself because they don't live in a country that has freedom of speech. So yeah like that that's what i will say like when it comes to like the, the bombings and things it's like that when it's always deeper whenever we're talking about war or uh conflict or any type of hostile forces because unless you are there you're not going to know who is doing what you can say watch the news the news aren't always the people that are saying who is actually doing what is happening and I will leave it at that. Let's continue. I had a lot of you guys tell me that. And it's taken mm. me, this is what's so crazy about it, is that I think this has been going on now for like two years. I think that I've been slowly devolving into the most mean-spirited, yes. uh, just uh, like, like, I don't really even know what the word is for it. Uh, just like the most mean-spirited, rude like nasty yes. uh yes. like I agree. just callous uh, I agree. psychopathic version of myself i i think that i've been devolving into this yes and i noticed this a, a while back because i used to watch asman when he would do like the mount offs when he would play wow and then when he started playing final fantasy like i was always watching on youtube i was never watching on twitch um but sometimes i would go into the twitch chat and it'd be pretty chill and then eventually I did start seeing clips and videos of him just calling people out online. And it's one thing to call somebody out like when they're wrong. And it's another thing to berate them in front of thousands, legitimately thousands of other people to call them out and call them an idiot and say all these rude and harsh things. And I'm not going to lie. I've laughed at it before because some of these people that come in, they try and check Asman. Right. They try and check Zach. They try and come in here with a super big ego like they uh, are just better than the streamer because they have some type of vendetta against him. Like I said, there are people that absolutely hate this man. And I I mean, at this point, understandably so, because after that, it's like, of course, there are going to be like and I'm not saying people should like legitimately go after his life. Right. At the end of the day, it's just a one guy online spreading his opinion. That being said, this one guy online has a lot of clout. He has a lot of people behind him. He has a lot of people around him that prop up what he says as if it's a law or the one and only truth, when it is absolutely not. Asman is not the only smart person on the internet, okay? So don't always take what this man says as the, the, the end all be all to any type of conversation whatsoever, right? And this is why I started to educate myself because I, when I was watching him, you know, even though I didn't intellectually know what it is that like each conversation, like how it, how it is like in general, 
emotionally and like by the the seeing what he does and hearing what he says i was like there's something not right about this right so when somebody comes into his chat they say something crazy he pulls up their logs he showcases their logs and nine times out of ten the people that are doing this their logs are messed up they've been saying out of pocket stuff for a long time and now they're getting called out they're being put on the spot and then they're trying to rationalize, oh, this and that. I was joking. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Or blase, blase. Oh, oh, you're wrong. You have a big ego. And it's like, yes, he does have a big, big ego. You got to have a big ego if you're going to do a job that that I have, that Asmund has, that Alana has. Doing this stuff, speaking in front of thousands of other people is not something that is easy. And of course, you have to have a big ego about it. The thing is, you need to be able to be aware that you have a big ego about it. And even if you are aware that you have a big ego, that does not necessarily mean you'll be able to open up your mind to any type of criticism because any everybody and anybody can criticize you for any and everything right if you understand that thank you because it's not like it's it's not simple that being said some of the things that asmund has said i'm like personally sitting here like huh well that's kind of an l take but at the same time you know i don't hate the man right i think i i would say seven out of ten times that he says something i agree with it right and it used to be like eight out of ten so Definitely, it's gone down the more that he's become more negative and more toxic because I personally just don't vibe with that, right? But at the end of the day, I think that most of the time, he has his intelligence in the right place with whatever conversation. I'm not saying he has his heart or his emotions in it because he rarely ever uses these things because when you're online and you're, especially when you're using your ego, you're mostly... And he says it whenever he's calling people out. He calls them dumb. He says that he's smart. He says that other people that are saying things that are the opposite of him, you shouldn't listen to them because they can't even type correctly. They can't even spell, which like they show it in the logs. They can't spell. They can't type. They're dumb. Don't listen to them. Listen to me. Right. And it's understandable, especially if they can't even spell. That being said, you don't have to sit there and point that out. You don't have to sit there and berate them. You don't have to sit there and say, yeah, they're dumb. They can't spell anything. If anything, you should try and read it and say, okay, I think this is what you're trying to say and I don't agree. And you could just leave it at that. That would legitimately be enough for like majority of the people in the chat anyway. So, and I'm not going to sit here and say like, he's a like legitimately just like a terrible person, right? This is something that happened that can happen and has happened to a lot of people online because they do not go outside. People do not go into the real world. I've been sitting here traveling all this month, go going out and talking to people, meeting people, right? Doing things online and doing things in person are not the same thing. And if you go out outside to like to like TwitchCon and like these other parties with other streamers, that does not equate the same thing. Because talking to streamers and talking to people online in person is not the same as talking to the average individual out in the real world because they're not gonna understand the, the online culture, the online rules, just like you don't understand the real life culture in the real life rules. Whenever you go outside, there's a reason why when you go outside, you make sure you're wearing something appropriate, unless you don't care. And if you don't care, other people will. will. And just because you don't care what other people think, that does not mean it does not affect you. There are several cases where people have not been able to get into, say, a store, or a restaurant because of their attire. And I'm not talking like this is some five-star establishment. They're just wearing something trashy and the people are like, no, you can't wear that in here. But they're so self-centered because they're so used to having things their way. When you're in your house, you can dress however you want. When you go out in public, it's a different conversation. And that's just how it is as a society, point blank, period, whether you like it or not. So yeah, 100%, he has become more of a degenerate but I like with this ban or timeout or uh, whatever suspension, I like in this video, I'm watching this video. This seems like he's becoming aware of these things. I mean, he's talking about it. Right. So maybe hopefully he will actually be able to change it. Hopefully he will actually be able to take a step back because I, I remembered when Asman would take breaks. And he would say, I need to take a break from streaming. I don't know what he's doing while he's taking a break, but hopefully it's going outside. There definitely needs to be a balance between the online and the offline world. And a lot of creators, they don't realize it because they're so sucked into their own world and their own grind. 
and it takes you time. It takes time for you to sit back and say, hey, this online stuff, I don't need it right now. What I need is just time with myself. Whenever I'm meditating, right, throughout the day, I'm thinking about YouTube, sure. I'm out going to the gym and I'm thinking about the gym. But whenever I'm just like hanging out and stuff, maybe I'll check my phone, I'll check the comments. Maybe I'll check analytics. But whenever I'm sitting and I'm meditating or I'm reading a book, right? When I'm reading things about human nature, how humans work, I'm not thinking about the internet. And I can legitimately feel that in my brain. I feel the internet part turn off and I'm only focused on myself. I'm only focused on my growth. I'm only focused on the outside world. And more people need to find this. And the only way to find it is if you give yourself time. And I'm talking to everybody, not just Zach. I'm talking to Alana. I'm talking to her chat and I'm talking to you, the viewer. Anybody and everybody can be sucked down this dark route, especially if you always use this, if you're always checking, if you're always scrolling, if you're always using this, my bro, my my phone time is less than five hours, less than five hours a day I spend on my cell phone. What are your analytics looking like? What are your statistics? Because it's probably something past 10 hours. Maybe it's 15 hours. Hell, maybe it's 20 for some of you. The less you use the Internet the more you're going to be able to figure yourself out. And whenever you can figure yourself out, you won't have to worry about the toxicity because it, that though, that's their problem. Toxic people online don't ever take what they say personally because that's a them issue. That is not a you issue if you know yourself, but you're not going to know that if you're always online. That one comment is going to send you. It's going to make you go, oh man, there's really something wrong. No, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just this person decided to point something out that they didn't like about you. Remember that, man. I'm like, I'm sitting here preaching to you guys because I actually care. And not a lot of people online care about anything. They only care about themselves or they only care about their communities. And I'm over here letting you guys know and letting everybody know that it can become better. You just need to take a break from the online. And that's legitimately it. Take a break. I'm not saying throw it away, go cold tur turkey, ghost for a couple months. The only people that should do that are people that are trying to become serious with some type of business or some personal growth. But everybody else, you can take a break for a couple hours. You don't need to constantly check and scroll, but it's being wired into you to always check it. When you're bored, what do you do? Do you go to TikTok or do you go to YouTube? Doesn't matter, you're still on your phone, right? So get off the phone, get off the technology and we'll be able to actually figure something out. Let's go back to the video. And a lot of my friends have told me this. My dad has told me this. He said, you've got huh. to chill out. <laughs> huh. His dad? Oh, shit. Huh. Calm down. Crazy. Yeah. I've been like, oh, he, he's, the old man doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, no, he and does. I finally <laughs> had some level of accountability for that. Okay. And thank God. I, I look back at some of the things that I've said and done over the past two years. And I don't think that I've been wrong about everything, obviously, right? But there have been ways Ego. that I've communicated and ways that I've acted that are indefensible. And I think it's, looking back on it, it's just disgusting. And it's something that when you get lost in the sauce and you get legitimately around like listening and reading feedback and, yes. you know, just getting hyper fixated, this is like your mm -hmm, entire mm -hmm. life. Yes. Yeah. You lose a perspective on reality. Yes. And you lose a perspective on the world. Yes. And yo, yo, this is exactly why I'm not a political Andy, by the way. I will dunk on DEI bullshit and being in hiring practices and like video games, you know, having DEI just to pander to people and it's really condescending. I will dunk on stupid people hating on men for existing. I dunk on woke bullshit. That serves no purpose other than to push an agenda, but I never get directly involved in politics or like politically adjacent topics. Asman literally covers the election. He covers the debates. He covers every hot topic issue that's political news, like social opinionated. media, like running that's running stories on mainstream media. When you go that deep into that world in 2024, after years of doing that, it drives you insane. I genuinely think that like it warps your view on yes. like the world and not just that but the people whose entire life is politics make your world hell from both sides of the aisle and they try to make it as hard as humanly possible 
to approach things from a reasonable standpoint because they just want to scream talking points at each other and if you don't do that then you're the enemy and i think he's like come to realize that and i think that that perspective yeah. was there's a lot to break down in what Alana just said, but I'll say I'll say this because, like she says, <clears throat> she talks about like the politics and in gaming, right? At the end of the day, when it comes to video games, video games are entertainment. Entertainment is something to distract you from your life. It is something to distract you from the outside reality because sometimes the outside reality is painful. And I did a poll recently. What do you what do you do to relax? And I believe the leading poll with over 400 votes was playing video games. People get tired and they want to go into a virtual online world because it's better than their real life world. And that is absolutely sad. That being said, it's something that we could fix if you want to fix it. Because there are going to be people that just want to be online, that just want to play video games. And I'm not going to sit here and say what you're doing is wrong because at the end of the day, it is your life. It is your life. But don't be surprised when other people try and infiltrate your world to push their politics, to push their agenda. And the only thing that you can do about it is just not play the game because you haven't invested any other skills into anything else besides playing the game. And that's a sad reality, to be honest, right? I used to play games. I used to be in the gaming industry. I used to play games for money. I used to play games for work, for hours on end. I would stay up all night to beat a brand new release game to have it up on youtube within the uh, the, the 16 18 sometimes 20 hours before, like when the game came out if i didn't get it early from from a publisher or developer right i've been playing games since sonic the hedgehog when i was four years old i am 26 about to turn 27 in france i'm an american and i've lived in asia for the last four years I have not been playing video games except for things on the mobile. That is the only games that I play because I still have a connection by playing these online games with friends from back home. To actually sit and play a PlayStation game or a PC game, it takes a lot of your time. And time is the only thing in this world that we have. At the end of the day, we're all going to pass away. Within three generations, everybody that we know is going to be forgotten. And if you want to sit and spend your time playing games, by all means, go for it. Sure. But that is not going to stop the world from changing. And just because you want to put your head in the sand to ignore the actual real world politics, it doesn't change anything either. That being said, the crazy people that are online just spewing and talking about politics 24-7, they're not doing anything either. Because if you really want to make a change in the world, we have to come together. We have to, how many times in the gaming community, you guys didn't like something and it got fixed because everybody got outraged. That is what happens when we have community. That is what happens when humans come together for one cause. Things can change working together. Now imagine instead of taking that energy to put it towards some type of patch for a video game, it was to actually fix something in your neighborhood. It was actually to fix something in your community, something to make your life better so you don't have to play video games all day. What if y'all came together so you could get better pay? You get better wages. You get better hours. What are those called? Unions? If everybody was to do that instead of everybody splitting off to get into their own entertainment, whether it's TV, video games, pornography, whatever it is, whatever it is, things would change for the better. So are you a terrible person for playing video games? Absolutely not. Would your life be better? If you and countless other people stop sitting in their leisure and they actually work to make their life better, absolutely. That being said, there's a new update coming out next week. So hey, you you do you do you man you you pick and you choose and you figure it out. Like I said, I'm just here to make you more aware of it. I'm not sitting here to point the finger or say you're a bad person. If you heard all of this and you felt some type of negative way about it, hey man, if the shoe fits, wear that motherfucker. Because I'm just here to just say it out loud. Because it's always in your head. It's always in the back of your mind. Hmm, should I read a book or should I play some more video games? Hmm, should I do my homework or should I just keep listening to music? Or should I watch TV? Or should I watch a movie? Or should I do everything besides the thing that I don't want to do because I know at the end of the day, doing this will be harder than just sitting in some entertainment. 
But even back further in the back of your mind, you know, if you do that hard thing, it will make your life easier. And at the end of the day, bro, it's up to you. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you should do. I'm just saying, hey, these are the things on the table. These are the things in the real world. These are the real things in reality that you can pick to choose to do. And if you don't choose to do it, it is what it is. It is what it is. But in the perspective yesterday, it's very toxic, before, yeah. Um, when I, I was making comments like this, and uh, mm. I, I I feel I I feel so stupid. I I it's crazy. So I I'm getting all these people making negative comments toward me. Everybody is telling me like, oh, go kill Naturally. yourself. I hate you. Everything like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. Do you know who reached out to me? And. Uh, they uh, wanted to talk and have a conversation and see if I was okay. Dr. K? It's people that were Islamic and people that were had fucking family in Palestine. And I oh. Yeah, there's good people in every part of it. That's why he feels bad. Yeah. Crazy how I, that works. I, 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 I'm not surprised, but that's very sweet. I've, how humiliating is that? How absolutely <laughs> humiliating is that? And these were the people I was trying to say were, were, were bad. And... Uh-huh. Crazy how that I works. Just, I, I feel like such a fucking stupid asshole. I really do. Um, I've always been a, uh, you know, I, I guess like I've always been kind of like an atheist. And um, uh, even as, as a young kid, I was raised Roman Catholic and I was always very defiant towards it. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I've always had a negative opinion of religion. And I've also had a negative opinion of religious cultures. Sure. And I, I think that really... I think that opinion is definitely shaped by the media that I've created and mm. the media I've created for myself and then also mm. just the media that exists, mm. the media that I've chose to seek out as well. Mm. And I think that, that media has allowed me to have certain uh, predispositions and certain biases that Naturally. Um, the, the truth is that don't have any sort of relation to what my own real life has been experienced or my own real life experience has been, excuse me. And so I, I've been spending a lot of time talking to those people and I've seen people like fans of mine, like I had viewers messaging me on discord, like, you know, why, why are you saying this? Like, do you want to talk? Do you want to like, you know, I'm, I'm willing to talk to you and like, yeah. you know, like let, let's try to work this out. Right. We love you. And I scrolled up on their messages. And, and these are people that messaged me in like 2016, 2017, 2018. Like, They've I been love watching. Content, you. I love your stream. Aww. I love you. They've right? been watching and, and now they and get supporting to this you. from me. And I just feel like such a stupid, belligerent fucking asshole. Surprise. I really do. And I'm sorry. I, yeah. I really am. I, I think that it's extremely fair to criticize uh, religious extremism. And I think that it's extremely unfair to categorize everybody in part of that group as religious sure. extremists. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. I think it's completely fair to criticize religious extremism, and I think it's unfair, yeah. This there's extremism for absolutely everything. There's religious extremism, and there's atheist extremism. There's extremism for everything, because as long as you believe something, there's going to be somebody that believes it harder than you do. And then there's going to be somebody that believes it harder than they do. And then there's going to be somebody that believes it so much they're willing to take other people's lives because they believe that is the right thing to do. There's extremists everywhere. And they how do they get extreme? Because nobody stopped them. Nobody stepped in and said, hey, you know, you have your opinions, I have mine, but maybe we should talk about it. Because nobody likes talking about religion. Nobody likes talking to other people about what they believe. It's totally fine, sure. But don't be surprised when somebody believes something so much that they're willing to change the entire world because they believe it. And this can be positive as well. It's not necessarily all negative, right? Elon Musk, somebody that you would call crazy, somebody you would call insane, making the world change. He's making his dreams come true. Man just launched a rocket and caught it. Man has robots walking around everywhere that are going to be in other people's houses. You can say it's crazy all you want, but at least he's doing something. There's going to be crazy people out here that are doing outright just bad negative things. But before they got to that point, where was the criticism? There was none because it was about religion. And that's the difference. People criticize Elon because it's about science and technology. People don't criticize these other people because it involves something that none of us can see and only some of us believe. And some of us believe way more than others.
some of us don't believe at all. At the end of the day, if you guys are not willing to actually have conversations about hard topics and put your egos to the side, and I think that's the big thing, uh, like every single person has an ego. Every human has an ego. But if we're not able to put them to the side for the sake of conversation, which is what the political debates are supposed to be about, by the way, it's supposed about it's supposed to be about sticking with the facts and what the plans are for the future and not about the individual speaking and telling the story or talking about the vision. If we're not able to do that, nothing will change. And I've talked to people that think different, differently than me all the time. You don't have to accept what these people are saying. But you also don't have to be super defensive to your point. You could say what you believe. They say what they believe. And if you don't agree, just don't accept it. But maybe having these conversations, somebody will say something that resonates with you to the point where you actually change your beliefs and you actually agree. And you say, damn, maybe they got a point. But even if that happens, you can still choose to say, nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. At the end of the day, we all have our own choices. All of us, every single human being. But unless we have the conversations, nothing will ever be moving in a more peaceful way. Because if you think somebody is going to do one thing and they think you're going to do one thing, if nobody talks about it, if these two thoughts are negative, prepare for conflict because people don't trust each other. How can you sit and expect good things to happen when nobody is even willing to listen to the other opinion because it's a hard opinion to listen to? Everybody just, and it's, and it's not easy. You got to have an open mind and it's to have an open mind. You just need to be more secure with yourself. You need to be secure with who you are and then be willing to open up to listen to somebody else's opinion. And like I said, you don't have to accept it. There's been times where I've sat and I've listened to somebody for like 15, 20 minutes and I don't agree with damn near 80% of what they say, but I just wait and I listen for that one part where I'm like, okay, I can agree with that. Everything else. That's nonsense. I don't have to accept that. But what you just said to me, just at this point in time, was some of the realest shit that I've heard. And that's just how you grow as an individual. And that's how you become open-minded. And that's just how you open up more of your consciousness by hearing other people's opinions, because we all have an ego, every single one of us. So yeah, let's continue. This is a great video. This is what I've been saying. He wasn't wrong in what he said about how they treat women and gay people. He was completely 100% correct. Like, I, I stand by that. I think it is. And I'm, I'm really sorry. In your opinion, Alana, because there are other people that don't agree. For that. Yeah. Uh, and that's I've the just whole been point. a fucking dick. And I... It, it's weird because I... Yesterday I woke up and I didn't know if I was going to get suspended or not. And I planned on streaming and everything. And uh, <laughs> I actually got a text message from one of my mods. They said, oh, I heard about the suspension. I'm sorry. And I was like... I remember I was like driving and like, you know, you'd think that like your heart rate would go up. But if anything, I felt more relaxed. Dude, he was at peace, man. <laughs> he just had a blissful moment. I felt like finally I have a moment. Bro, Twitch suspensions are amazing because you guys are streamers. You guys are purposefully being online all the time for the entertain the entertain the entertainment of other people. So yeah, for all these big people to get suspended, to actually take a break and go do something else, I think it's a good thing. I'm glad that they suspended him. And I hope they suspend more people that are outright saying some crazy shit like Asman said. He deserved to get suspended. And now he gets to reflect on it. And now he's uploaded a YouTube video about his reflection. And this is great. This is human growth in the flesh. I like to see it to just take a step back and breathe okay. and think for myself okay. and just stop just like get out get out of my own head yes and i spent a long time like just writing basically a list of all of these things that like i i think that i should be doing with my life and this is going to be kind of the second amazing part, the way of the video amazing uh, comments that i made uh, journaling is important religious extremism i think it's bad uh, but I've categorized a lot of people in that way that was unfair. It's wrong for me to have done that. Uh, I said something that was bad. I should not have said that. I should have chosen my words more carefully. I didn't do that. I doubled down on it. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. 
that's pretty much, I was a fucking asshole. I'm a piece of shit. I'm sorry. And I think you're beating yourself up too hard. What you said was a mistake. How did it happen? By being online too much. Now you know the issue. Now you can rem remedy your mistake. You don't have to beat yourself up and keep calling yourself all these terrible things because what you say will resonate with your subconscious, will resonate with your brain. If you keep calling yourself these negative things, don't be surprised when you actually start sticking with these negative things and not actually growing and evolving and changing. And that goes for you too, the viewer. If you keep calling yourself bad things, expect to, to stick with that the rest of your life. And for some people, they're totally okay with it. But if you want to change and become better because not everybody is okay with being mediocre or average, well, then tap in with your boy by hitting the subscribe button because I'll be giving out this knowledge all the time. Let's go. I don't know what else to say. And so, actually, I do know what else to say. I, I don't like making apologies because I think words <laughs> don't matter. Um, but and that's crazy. Action. That, and she said fair. That's crazy if you guys think, if you, bro, that's how wars start over words. They don't always start with physical violence. They usually start with somebody saying something out of pocket, somebody taking offense to it. And then next thing you know, people are dying. Words absolutely have meaning. Words absolutely matter. And if you don't think so, I think that's what happens when you're online too much. Walk up like uh, you guys can sit online and call people a bitch. Go outside and go into in somebody's face and say that and see what happens. Words absolutely matter. Absolutely, they matter. It's crazy how these people are thinking like, oh, it's okay to say this stuff. And the only reason why they think that's because they're online too much. And that's literally it. ...and change behaviors too. And so you can take my apology as hopefully better content. And if you're not seeing that, I want you to hold me accountable. Hopefully okay. this time I won't be stupid enough to ignore it. Hmm. Melt is pretty good. Oh, anyway, <laughs> so the second part about this is that I want to talk a little bit about like my life, my personal life, etc., and kind of some of the points that I think that I've I've kind of gone through to get here. Uh, so the main thing is that for the past like I would say like ten years or so, uh, if you look at my life like this, I would have said ten years ago or maybe eight years ago, streaming was like this, right? YouTube mm. was like this, and now I would say that my life and streaming are basically the exact same size and what i mean by that is that streaming is my entire life doing this is my entire existence and i think that the problem he streams a lot i don't know how he does it genuinely it's because it's not a job for him he just said it's his existence when he wakes up he's streaming when he goes to bed he's he's thinking about streaming when he's away from his computer he's thinking about online that is why that is that is how he became how he is or how he was and hopefully he'll change. He needs to take a break, legitimately. The process of that has been extremely unhealthy for me. Insane. And I think that what it's done is that it's allowed me to become <laughs> such a one-dimensional person that mm. I'm not even a person anymore. It's like mm, I'm, mm. I'm yes. Dark Souls, I'm going hollow or something. <laughs> and yes. I think about like all of the, you know, like I, I, I made a list of all of the things that I'm not doing in my life that I should be doing. And I was writing it down and I'm like, you know, fucking like, I'm just going and going, going. I'm like, oh my God, I think it'd be shorter if I transcribed the Bible. Like, this is insane. Like, I'm like, that whenever long? I have everything written down line for line, it's like, oh my God. I'm ruining my life. I've been yes. existing and I want to, at a certain point, actually try to live my life. Yes. And I don't think that I've been doing that. And so what am I going to do? How am I going to do that differently? And what does that mean for, for my stream, etc.? I think that I'm going to cut down a little bit on streaming quite as much. Good. And that I seems think I'm fair. also going to cut down. This is going to sound like I, 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 I hope I can say this in the right way. I feel like the main times that I laugh on my stream nowadays are when I'm laughing at other people. <laughs> and I look back on videos that I did from 2020, 2016, and 17, and yeah, I've always been an asshole, but... I think... I think it's like, how do I say this? Um... Go ahead and cook I think a lot because of he feels here. so bad about what he said, he's taking like a really introspective look at himself and maybe overanalyzing a bit. I don't think he's overanalyzing. 
He's literally telling you how he feels about his life. How is that overanalyzing? I think, Alana, you also need to do some introspection. You might be online too much as well. And I don't know her, right? If you're a fan of Alana, you know her more than I do. You know her uh, supposedly, right? If you're in the chat, right? You don't know her, know her. She knows herself and her close friends know her. People online don't really understand the real world. I don't think so. Unless you can balance it. And there's ways to balance it. There's definitely ways to balance online and real life. You don't have to go one way or the other. You definitely can balance it. But him sitting here and explaining everything, like he's been doing this for years. And I think a lot of people forget how life works, right? When you're born, you don't have anything. You are taught by supposedly your parents, hopefully your parents. If you don't have your parents, you're taught by somebody else right? You're taught by your parents and that's all you know in life until you get into the school system. And then the school system starts force feeding you things. And then people end up leaving the school system because sometimes it doesn't match well with who they are as a person. That being said, other people take the school system too literally and they think, oh, as long as I do whatever the teacher said, I will be okay. And then that's how you end up with all those people that ended up going to college, right? But then they ended up going to debt and then they found out their degrees was worthless because all they were told from the get go was just go to school, go to school. And then eventually you get a degree and then you'll get a good job and then you'll get a good house and then you'll find a wife and then you'll have a kid and you'll have happily ever after. And then life slaps you in the face because that's not how it works for everybody. Every single person on this earth is walking a different path. And sometimes our paths intertwine. Sometimes they don't. But Asmund is sitting here and telling you what his path was like. He told you that his life, only some of it was YouTube and Twitch. What was the other half? Probably going out and hanging out with his friends. Where, when's the last time uh, we, we had his friends on the stream? I remember like a couple years ago, his friends would come onto the stream sometimes and they would hang out in his room for a little bit. When's the last time that happened? God, I'm not too sure. Right. And I, I'm talking about his old friends. I'm not talking about like the streamer friends that show up because streamer friends, that's a different. Like that's, that's half work. Okay. Like he's sitting here and telling you that he is going, he, he went from barely being online to being online, being his existence, being his, not just his life, every single moment in time that this man is alive and is actually thinking it or doing anything. It's involved being online. He is not over analyzing. He is perfectly letting everybody know. And some people aren't going to understand it. Alana legitimately might not understand it. And that's okay because that's how consciousness works. Okay. If you want to, you the viewer, if you want to do something better in your life and you want to be amazing and you want to do things and be extraordinary, well, don't be surprised when everybody else start looking at you like you're the weirdo or you're the crazy person because you're not doing what everybody else is doing. Asmund is doing things that not everybody else is doing to the extreme. Alana is a streamer. I am a YouTuber. Asmund was living the existence of both of these things 24-7. I don't know how Alana looks at her streaming career, but I know how I look at my YouTube career. I like to come on here, talk to you guys, maybe laugh a little bit, and like most of the time, giving you some type of real life advice and some real uh type of like all the inflections and all the 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 ways that i've looked inside myself i go ahead and i say hey let me go ahead and test this out in the real world and that's when i go out and i talk to these these people and i talk to interesting people all from all over the world and and i sit here and i talk to them and every time i talk to these people they always say man you're very mature man you're very wise man i agree with what you're saying these are outside people saying this. So even if online people don't agree, who cares? These are people that are online all the time. They're probably quoting some shit that they saw on another video somewhere. I'm over here talking to actual individuals and sharing it with you. I look at this as not a career or a job. I look at this as a part of my life to make life better in general. Because at the end of the day, the only thing I personally really care about is just sharing. All I care about is just sharing with whoever will listen, because I know for a fact the stuff that I am saying will actually help you. 
versus somebody is going to do the same thing, but they only care about saying it because it's going to make them money. And there's nothing wrong with money, right? I love money. Money loves me. At the end of the day, though, you being online too much, it, it, it definitely subtracts the reality of the real world. Because how can, and especially if you're making money from it too, right? Alana, I'm sure she's very fortunate. I'm not sure how much money she has, and we're not going to talk about that, but I'm sure she doesn't have to worry about missing a meal. I will say that. And until you actually live in the, like, go outside and you can see the people that are actually struggling, like, and you can put yourself in their shoes and say, damn, like, that could have been me or that I could have ended up in a situation similar to this and still have the heart to say, well, here you go, you know, here's something to help you. Like legitimately, I've been out here just giving away like money because hopefully it helps them. Alana needs to, and, and, and I'm not even mad at Alana. I'm not mad at her at all because how could she know if she's always online? Everybody is in their own bubble. Even me, I don't know everything, right? I'm in my bubble as well, but I purposely go out to try and expand my bubble. I purposely try and learn from other people and hear from elders on top of that. Like people that are 50, 60, 70 years old, 30, 40, giving me game, teaching me about what they did in their life, how they got better. And then I go ahead and I, bro, I'm living my best life. And like, you could check my Instagram link in the description. You could see the stuff that I go through, bro. I, I <laughs> like, and, I, and I'm even, and I'm not even saying this to like flex I'm saying this to let you know that everything in this world, and you're probably not going to understand it, and that's okay. If you want to understand it, you can definitely learn how consciousness works. If you really believe in something, you make it real. Point blank, period. If you believe hard enough and people are going to call you delusional, you got to be a bit delusional for this stuff to actually happen because you have to believe it and then you have to do things to make it happen. I created an LLC. Why did I do that? Because I wanted to. I wanted to have a big business. And how do you have a big business? You need to have an LLC. So I am putting steps into motion to make my life better. Just like everybody else can put steps into their life and make their lives better. And that's what I want to see in Asman because Asman already has followers. He already has people that are looking up to him and watching him, talking about how much they loved him. I want him to become better so that those other people can also become better because I also believe in sharing the knowledge and sharing the wealth and sharing the ability to get better because it's not out here and it's not out here for free all the time. And if anything, a lot of companies, like we talked about earlier in this long ass video, they want you to stay on this shit. They want you to stay on here. They don't want you to achieve anything. They don't want you to, to become better. Why? Because whenever you're better, you stop using this and they lose money. They lose control over you. Like I said, I only stayed on here like five hours a day. And it's only to really talk to people, right? How, how often do you think uh, rich people are, are scrolling on TikTok? How often do you think rich people are, are scrolling on Instagram? How often do you think they're just scrolling on the internet, point blank, period? The only people that are doing that out of rich are people that that's their job, like Alana. It's Alana's job to be on the internet, like Asmin. It's Asmin's job. Asmin's life is the internet, right? But if you want to become bigger and you want to become better, you guys got to actually sit with yourselves, figure out what it is that you like in this world. And like I said, you need to believe it. You legitimately need to believe it, bro. And I'm giving out this game. And I know there's a lot of people out here that just don't understand it. And they're not going to understand it. And I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to whoever is listening. And they can actually, hmm, damn, maybe Kunshan got some point. Damn, is he spitting? But then you can just check my IG and you can see I'm spitting. Everything I'm saying, I'm living it. First class. A first class on a train to get over to where I'm at in, in France right now. First class, it's the first time I ever bought first class. And when I bought it, I didn't even think about it. I was just like, damn, I need to get there. I need to get here. First class ticket, boom, bought it, booked. I'm sitting here with big wigs and executives and important people. And I fit right in my black ass, my young black ass, sitting here living it and doing it. And you can too. You just need to believe in it. 
And so, like, and, and to circle back to come back to is Asmund Gold over analyzing? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. He is perfectly analyzing his life. Everybody needs to analyze their life. Are you living the life you want to deserve, bro? I'd be posting these community polls and I'd be asking people, how are you living your life? What are you going to do to make it better? Are you going to follow your dreams? And people are commenting and leaving their, their genuine responses about how they live their life. And for me, I'm like looking at it, I'm like, I know they could do better if they wanted to, but I'm not going to sit here and tell them that. I will sit there and let them know in a video, sure, but I'm not going to sit here and leave it in a comment because that's a different. To, to have somebody sit and tell you that your life could be better in a video, anybody could take that and then say, hey, I'm going to make it better versus it's in a comment. Then they could take it as, oh, this person is looking down on me. And I want you guys to know that all the comments that I am saying in, in this video, in all my videos, it's never to belittle anybody. It's never to look down on anybody. I just have hope. I have enough joy and hope in my soul, in my being to say, I want everybody else to have some. I want everybody else to live better. I want everybody else to do the best that they can with the one life that we all have. And I know not everybody is going to take it, bro. Not everybody is built like me. Not everybody is built like everybody that they want to be like. But some of you out there have it in you to become better. And I should just end this video, to be honest. But let's go ahead and continue anyway. <laughs> I don't know. This is my opinion. Obviously, he's his own person. I don't feel like his content or the things people he's laughed at in recent times has been bad. I feel like this is an overcorrection. Alana, you sit online all day. Of course, you think him laughing at people is not bad. All you do is laugh at people as well. Whenever he was talking about people wanting him to die, she kept laughing at it. She's like, oh my God. And like, everybody takes it differently, right? Of course, I'm, like I said, I'm not sitting here to belittle or saying what she's doing is bad, but you need to have self-awareness, young lady. You are not, bro, you are not, you're not it. You are not the one to sit and say, oh yeah, maybe maybe he's overanalyzing. Absolutely not. This man is sitting you and tell, telling you, telling everybody how he feels. And her response is, maybe he's overanalyzing it. Maybe he's thinking too much. Or maybe you're not thinking enough. Maybe you should start thinking. Maybe more people should start thinking. And it's crazy that people don't. And that's why they get milk for all the money that they're worth. Because for other people, they don't see human beings. They see dollar signs. They see you, me, and everybody else as a way for them to get more power and more status and more wealth. Let that sink in, bro. Not everybody's going to be looking for our best interests. That's why I'm saying we need to come together as a community. Legitimately, the VTubers, Asmin, me, other people, like we legitimately need to come together to make life better because the people over in Palestine, they're not, they're not living too great. And I honestly wish that they were living better. I wish that, you know, there was less wars in the world. And I'm not just a hippie on some, oh, you know, peace and love. But at the end of the day, it sure would be nice to have some peace and love. You feel me? So yeah, I, I think, I think, I think people need to give themselves time to grow. And I think that's the big thing. If there's anything you take from this video or anything that needs to be quoted, give yourself time to grow. And Asman is going to take time for himself to grow. And that means he's going to have to step back from the content. He's going to have to step back and other people are going to hear that and say, no, I want you to keep making videos because it's entertaining. And because people only see him not as a dollar sign, but as the clown, as the he he ha ha, as a way for them to be distracted by their own reality, which is absolutely sad to hear. This man wants to do better for himself and other people are saying, nah, you should keep doing content. Nah, you should keep doing the same content. Nah, you should keep going. I'm not saying Alana is saying this. I'm talking about, you know, those people that do actually exist in this world that only think about themselves and their entertainment that will only look at all of this as just a big ass game because they don't believe in anything besides themselves and their consciousness. And their consciousness is actually pretty low. If you can only think about yourself and your immediate surroundings, your consciousness level is very low. 
And I wish it would become higher because we need more higher level conscious people in the world. And you can learn these things. Again, I like you can learn how to become more conscious. I'm, and becoming more conscious doesn't automatically make you more like more smart than the the other person, right? Because you have a higher level consciousness, that means you just you just understand more of how the world works. That doesn't mean you know everything. So just let that be known because I know there's some people that probably don't really understand the two, right? Consciousness is just you're aware of being aware of being aware of being aware. So like perfect example, you only know what's in your head. You look at somebody and they're looking at your shoes. Are your shoes brand new? You probably think that they think your shoes look good, but you won't know unless you ask. But you won't even think these things if you have a low consciousness. You'll be like, they're looking at my shoes. I wonder if they think they look bad or I wonder if they don't like them or whatever. Right. Consciousness is just being aware of being aware. And it's something everybody can train. I hope more people train it. I hope more people learn about it. And I hope to grow mine as well. I'm not like I don't even think mine is like at the tippy top. I think I still have more to grow. And I think everybody has more to grow. You just have to want to grow to grow. All right, let's continue the video. I'm done breaking. I'm done pausing. Let's go. This is just my opinion. Again, like he's his own person. I think it's an overcorrection for the I feel like I'm an asshole and all that. Holy for shit. Laughing at I've people. been way more of an asshole. It is, it's insane. And it's a night and day difference. And it's I've fair. had, again, everybody in the world telling me this, including my own dad. And I've just ignored them. And his own dad, though. I don't know, his own parent. And finally, Strong. it's like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> maybe I'm an asshole. <laughs> maybe maybe this is too far. Maybe I need a, a, a course correction. Maybe. Which is why I think that, like, getting suspended in this, uh, I hope that it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Okay. And I don't know whether that's going to be true, but I'm going to try to do things differently and make sure to live up to that reality. And so uh, what are those things that I'm going to be doing differently? Um, the first thing is that I think I'm going to try. I've been very much trying to like maintain a consistent schedule with my stream, and Bye. I will continue to do that. Uh, I want to get up and go to bed at relatively the same time. I want to live a normal life. And also, I want Good. to spend maybe a little bit less time piss. streaming. And I want to piss. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this is kind of serious. I forgot the video alerts. <laughs> my bad. Spend more time creating my it's own videos good. and doing my own things and spending time on things that I really enjoy and basically just like expanding my existence as a person. That seems, yes. very, it ever th that seems very level headed. That's fair. Since I started like yeah. OTK and I got involved with that, and then we had like other Starforge and like Mad Mushroom and, and yes, Mythic business, and everything like business, that. Business, business, Honestly, business. Honestly, it's been too much for me to handle. It's a lot of business. It's been completely too much for me to handle. It's a lot and of business, it, man. I, I've, I've been losing my mind dealing with it, and I try to hide it the best I can because, you know, I, I try to do the best, right? I try to yes. do my best. I, I You know, Good. it doesn't matter how hard it gets. You just keep going. You just keep going. Yes. It doesn't matter. The man yes. mentality, yeah. Eventually, it does matter, and I think that I've negatively affected a lot of them. And, I, and that's why I like watching Alana because she just said the man mentality, right? I want to know, well, what is the, the, the female mentality? Because there's legitimately man mentality and there's female mentality. So I do like when I, when I watch Alana, right, even though I'd be calling her out because she'd be saying some stuff that I just personally don't agree with. And that goes for everybody. Like I'll watch whoever, like Quinn Bennett, shout out to Quinn Bennett. I think he's the homie, right? At the end of the day, if he says some crazy shit about Niji or whatever, I didn't watch the video. It was something about Rima and 4chan Parrot talking about how Quinn says some crazy shit. I don't know. But if I was to watch it and I, and I agree that he said something crazy, I would call him out because that's what real that's what real people do. If you're a real person, you'll call out anybody, regardless if you like them or not. The only person on this earth I would say I am a fan of and I don't and I don't hand this title out willy nilly would be Keanu Reeves. But if I found out that Keanu Reeves said something in an interview and I didn't agree with it, I would say, I don't agree. But I would still watch John Wick. You feel me? You know, it's okay to, to call people out. It's okay to disagree. And I think a lot of people don't understand that because they only think, well, if you disagree, you must not like them. And that's not the case. I like watching Smug Alana. There's a reason why we're still watching the video. I like the inputs sometimes that she has in the videos. Right. So when she just said the man mentality, I want to know what's the female mentality. So what it, what else should you do besides, you know, keep striving and keep going harder? 
I want to know because I'm not a woman. And that's why I like watching her because she's a woman. So usually whenever she says something, I'm, I, I actually listen to it because I listen to women. <laughs> yeah, eventually it does matter. And I think that I've negatively affected a lot of them. And I also don't want to talk about that just in the context of just like this recent controversy. Uh, I want to talk about this in the context of the last two years. Okay. I think that I haven't really been able to fulfill my responsibilities as uh, a leader in a lot of cases to them. And yeah, when you stream that much, I understand. Yeah, I think that I've let a lot of people down. Uh, and there have been things that I've done that are positive as well. But I think that one thing this thing has taught me, this whole situation has taught me, it's made me realize, as Tom has made me realize, is that um, I need to get myself in check. I need to get my mind under control. I need to, like, just get my life to, I need to fix my fucking life. Like, yes. it's, it's insane. Like, I, I think about it and it's just, it's in shambles. You're good. Uh, everything about my life is basically fucked. And I'm going to take a step back from all of that. I'm going to step away from my leadership position and OTK and Starforge and everything. I, I want to end big. They're fine. No, the, the, this is, this is good. Uh, I, I think he's in the correct move. When you're That's the founder big. or co-founder, whatever your company, um, I think he's like a co-founder or something, and you employ a ton of people, your opinions on what you say affect them 100%. Yes. As it has become a thought leader in a lot of respects, in my opinion, and I feel like having to keep your company and all the employees and the, in in mind all the time while discussing like topics like that, like hard topics, can make you filter yourself and not communicate honestly. And when so, uh, when someone like Asmin or anybody for that matter talks about something, I think it's important to know that when what they're saying isn't being influenced by their isn't being influenced by their affiliations like the, for otk so you know there's not some fucking snake spamming them in dms and being like you can't say that apologize that right now you're hurting your brain i'm not saying there was in this case but you get the point like you know what i'm saying so the best way i can interpret and translate that asman is the ceo or coo of otk when he says something it affects the entire company because he is the head of the company or the co-head of the company, right? Of course, it's going to hurt his brand, but not only the brand, it's going to hurt the people under him. Because what if there was a worker in OTK that didn't agree with the political take that he said? What if the person that was working in OTK was Palestinian? How do you think that emotionally feels with them because they work underneath the person that just said that? It would emotionally wreck them. It will make them maybe consider resigning from the company. So it's not about just the brand. Of course, the brand is going to take a hit, but internally, the corporate structure would take hits. People will actually start feeling personally, uh, not a personally attacked, but they will have a personal issue with the, C the CEO or COO saying these crazy things. I mean, bro, look at any other company, right? Any other company where like the CEO says something crazy and then people start quitting, right? It happens all the time. So if you want OTK to survive, you probably shouldn't be saying these outright radical opinions. And it's hard to separate what you say just being your opinion and what you say affecting everything else when you yourself are the brand. OTK is one thing. Asmongold is another. But Asmongold is in both of these co companies. He is... If if Asmongold says something crazy on Asmongold, he only has to worry about getting timed out or banned or suspended or whatever. That doesn't really affect any, anybody else, but it could affect everybody that's in OTK. Every single person could be affected. Everybody at Starforge, because they're affiliated, could be affected by what this one man said. Other people's lives could be in jeopardy because of what one other person said. And when he said earlier, he thinks words don't have any meaning. Words don't have any weight. That's the perfect example on how they do hold weight, how you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. You can't just outright be spilling your own opinions whenever you do have these corporations and these companies, because a corporation and a company, their job and their existence is solely to make money. That is it. So for you to sit and say things because it makes you personally feel good, that is called ego. You know, like I said already, everybody has an ego. But when you put your ego above other people that are in your company, 
obviously we have an issue and I shouldn't have to point that out. And of course, you know, there's going to be people online, oh, the brand, brand, whatever. Those people also do have a point because you are hurting the brand. If you're hurting your brand, well, then maybe your, your workers might have to start finding second and third jobs because this one might not cut it. Or they might have to resign because this one's not cutting it because you said too many crazy things. And like the whole company goes defunct and goes under. It's happened before with many other companies. This ain't going to be the first. Yeah. With that, they respect that. And I, I want to do this. And I want to do yeah, this not only fair. for them, but mainly for myself. So I can be a better version of myself Good. for everyone. Good. And I want to apologize to all you guys, my viewers, that I I don't think I've lived up to that. I think that I can be a lot better than what I am right now. Mm. And I don't even think that I've been putting in half the effort that I should be in the way that I should be. And I'm sorry. And so my plan is to, when I get unbound, uh, I'll keep streaming regularly, right? Um, and I, I want to focus more on trying to do things that are fun, trying to <laughs> laugh more with the people. Mount Offs are back. At people. <laughs> Mount Offs. To laugh at people every once in a while, okay? <laughs> yes. No, no. Some people need to be laughed at online. Like, yes, 100%. <laughs> let's, not, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Um, Don't go crazy, Asma. Come it's on. It's about a focus, and it's about a, um, it's about a tone. I listen to my tone in the clip, and I just sound like such a piece of shit. Really, at the end of the day, I sound like a piece of shit. I sound like a terrible person. Mm -hmm. And it's just so mean-spirited and, just your and ego. callous and just your ego, dog. mean. And I don't want to be that person anymore. And... Uh, I wonder if I still cover the election. It's end of October, isn't it? Right? Yeah. Again, this is just me and my woman brain talking. And, like, he keeps saying he's, like, mean and mean-spirited and, like, callous. And it's like, yeah, that's, that's politics. You're describing politics. You become... A mean spirited person when you discuss topics that make people mean spirited because like the negative energy keeps like going into you and out of you all the time and you deal with people like that every day that are mean to you for your opinion sure people are mean to you for any opinion but I think that but if you but if you don't think that the level of emotion and outrage isn't levels of magnitudes higher when you're discussing these politically charged topics you're a fucking moron. An absolutely wonderful take from Alana. And do you know why that is? Why people are so are charged up and why there's so much negative energy? Because real life politics affects people's real lives. That is why it's so emotionally charged. Because real life humans are having their existence impacted by politics. And not everybody likes having their lives messed with in real life. And that's what happens whenever you vote somebody or you have one person in power or that that was chosen to be in power to try and lead. But there are so many different factions within said company or said country or said tribe. Right. If there's too many other outside voices, that one person can't be the voice for all of the people because we're not underneath. We're not united underneath one goal or one cause. There's too many goals and there's too many causes, which is why politics are so charged up, why there's so much energy in politics, because there's so many goals. Some people want uh, better rate wages for women. Some people want them to stop spending money on weapons. Some people want to uh, talk about the homeless situation in California. Some people want to talk about um, the transgenders. Some people want to talk about speed limits. Some people want to talk about why they can't drink and drive anymore, right? Because it used to be back in the day, you could drink and drive. Some people want to talk about why marijuana is still illegal, right? And I, I'm down with that one. I'm down. Like, why is that shit still illegal? Look, look, marijuana, hey, indica, that shit will make you think. Sativa, that shit will make you party. You pick which one you want. At the end of the day, it's your choice. But that being said, there's so many different issues and they don't all intertwine, man. And that's why, like, when I'm reading this book, bro, and I, it's called Surrounded by Idiots, but that's just a, a title to make you go, hmm, and then you pick up the book. But it's actually about the four types of human behaviors, right? When I'm listening to Alana, she definitely reminds me a bit of a red because she's definitely more assertive, but she also has bits of these green qualities where she's just chilled and relaxed. But when, she, when she's speaking, I'm actually enjoying what I'm hearing because 
like this is why I like Alana. This is why I like watching her. It's because she's it doesn't seem like she's always malicious. And I doubt she's, you know, malicious in general. Like, I'm sure she makes fun of people online. Sure, because she's always online, but she's never really outright hostile against people. And that's why I like watching her. And that's what I get the vibe of whenever I'm listening to her. But yeah, Asmund, when it comes to Asmund, he's been outright. I don't know. Okay. He's, he's been outright aggressive. I was going to say the word abusive, but words do matter and they hold weight. And even though I would say like he's verbally abusive towards people, you know, I know that word holds a lot of weight um, for many different people for many different reasons. So, yeah, I will say that he just he's outright aggressive when it comes to certain situations within his stream. And then those moments are clipped and put online and they're highlighted. So at the end of the day, you know, if he constantly has this feedback of people see me say this because somebody said something to me and they don't like me, so they say something negative about me, it's easy for you to close your brain off as Asmund to just close your brain off and be like, anybody that says something negative to me, they're either misinformed or they're just wrong. It's easy to get it because so many different people don't like him because he his opinions are strong. He has strong opinions that most people don't talk about out loud because it's either culturally not accepted or personally, they just don't vibe with that. And it is what it is when it comes to that. Not everybody's able to talk about things and not everybody likes having things talked about. But that's th those are just personal issues. Watching this video overall, I would say it's amazing. You know, uh, Alana, I think she, she is trying to do the best that she can. I don't think she's outright doing anything malicious right so even earlier when i was like checking her because everybody has to get checked eventually like even me like i'm sure somebody has something they want to say about this whole video and they can and you feel free to say it right i have no issues with it just like i hopefully alana doesn't have issues with somebody saying something about her just like asmin doesn't have any issues with people saying stuff about him as long as it doesn't outright attack somebody or threaten their life it's free game Pretty much, pretty much. Of course, there's always lines for everybody. Everybody has their own lines. But I think I think Alana is definitely somebody that has their heart in the right place. I think the only issue is her mind's not in the right place. And her mind's not in the right place because she's just always online. So yeah, I definitely, man, I, I like what I hear a lot of the time. But sometimes it's just like, no. And I'm only making, like, I'm only pausing and saying this because, again, there are going to be people online that say, oh, if you don't, if you don't agree 100%, then you don't like them. And that's just not the case. I like listening to Alana sometimes. <laughs> like, genuinely. Uh, I've. Yeah. I have spent a long time growing up, uh, the time I did, I was an r slash atheism enjoyer. I have a very uh, negative opinion of a lot of religions. Uh, I've mm. had the experience firsthand of the negative effects of Christianity and, uh, you know, the way that I, I view that. And I've always read a lot of very bad things about Islam. Uh, and I've made a lot of criticisms of it. I've talked to a lot of people about it. I've heard a lot about it. And I, I've, I've been, like, watching things about it. And I, I've been, like, hearing people telling me this is the way it is. But I've never seen it. And I actually think that at, after all this, I think towards the end of next year, I think I'd like to visit the Middle East and see it for myself. Yo! Very, very dangerous idea. That being said, all the power to you, brother. And I hope you make it out alive. I honestly do. Because a lot of people forget not every place is like the United States, man. Like somebody is probably going to notice you, Asman, or somebody's going to call and say, hey, this guy said some stuff about Islam. And over there, it's free game, brother. It's free game. So please be careful with this idea. But go for it. Because if you do survive, if nothing bad does happen, and I hope it doesn't, Right. I honestly hope he goes there. He actually gets some cultural experience and hopefully it's a positive cultural experience. Hopefully people 
he like i'm sure he's gonna have like a guide he'll probably have some type of protection right because he is a vip at the end of the day right he does have money at the end of the day he is going to be a white guy in the middle east at the end of the day right hopefully he gets to actually learn something amazing and then he comes back and he tells people about it 100 percent, bro like it's crazy I, i'm hearing it I, I was in paris and like people were messaging me like are the streets really dirty because there was some famous person on instagram or something talking about how dirty paris was but bro paris like yeah there's cigarette butts but it's like not really trashy like out of a trash scale i would say like it's an 8.6 that means it's not that trashy so i would recommend going to paris because it's not that it's not that bad it's it's honestly not that bad um but yeah hearing things online versus in real life totally different also you being an american seeing the outside world it's going to be a culture shock you're going to see a whole bunch of things that are wild that you might think is immoral or is wrong but you are a visitor and you need to remember that when you when you go there right i live in thailand i sometimes see things that are eaten where i think maybe it shouldn't be and I'm just like, I'm not going to eat it. But if you want to, hey, go for it. Because who am I to say something, right? You're not allowed to talk about uh, people that are in power over there. Hey, that's not my fight. Even though I talk about injustices all the time, your boy Kunshan, he ain't got the ability to just fight every single battle. And on top of that, he needs more help if he is going to attempt to do something like that. So until I can actually get that type of help, you wouldn't expect me to to actually outright say something about these things, even if I don't agree with them personally, because I am a visitor. And it's hard because as Americans, right, we want to be the police of the world, right? That's literally, I don't know if it still is our title, but that is the title that has been on our country for a very long time, the police of the world. We were supposed to be the good guys of the world, right? And that's why everybody talks about us every time we have a mistake because we've been in the the hands and the pockets of a lot of different nations so just be aware and be safe brother and good luck on your trip because you might enjoy it that's kind of strong dude look i i think aswin has always tried to be like logically correct about the things he talks about and it's the best kind of correct like he always thinks like super logically and i feel like he prides himself on having well thought out opinions that oftentimes don't exactly appeal to either side of the political spectrum because like contrary to popular belief you can't actually have an original thought in your head that you develop yourself and wasn't forced to fit down your throat by a fucking reddit mod that's why I like Alana because that's true. And I think this is just him wanting to be the best kind of correct, and nothing helps you having an opinion on such a subject, like physically being there and learning the nuance yourself. True. Yeah. Absolutely. That's <laughs> going in the Middle East. Okay. Like, I mean, I wonder if he's going to stream it. Interesting. I, I want to see it for a historical yeah. perspective right yeah, for the content love to go to istanbul in turkey oh, um right. there's no uh no wait hair transplant moment <laughs> no, i'm kidding i'm joking well, i'm alex <laughs> dave for your motive there at all um but <laughs> okay. it's not just that I'd, I'd love to visit places like saudi arabia yeah. dubai any of the other places i mean the truth is that and this is the worst thing about what i said um some of the places that i would want to visit I might not be able to because yes. of the way that they're like just the internal strife, the actual literal wars that are mm -hmm. going on, people being literally killed uh, there. And, and I might not be able to do that, but I, I, I want to do it and I want to see it for myself because I, I don't like believing what people tell me. And I think that when I do, I end up being a fool and I want to see it. I want to see it for myself and I want to experience it and I want to live my life. and. IRL streamer. I, I'm going to try to like. You can do a balance. I don't know, like clean up part of my house. I'm going to. Good. <laughs> hey, hey, you got to start somewhere, okay? Cleaning up the house, that's a good start. You you can't go out and talk about going to the Istanbul and Turkey and you ain't even cleaned your back. Like, what the hell is that? Why? How long ago that's been back there, right? So yeah, start with something easy, like cleaning up your room. Same thing for you guys watching. Start with something small, right? I and if this video has impacted you positively, hey, great. That is the goal. That is the intention. 
but you also need to realize that you have to start small. You can't just automatically just jump out and change it, right? So if you're smoking cigarettes and I'm like, oh yeah, smoking, blah, blah, blah. Of course, you already know smoking's bad, but maybe this video was like, okay, I'm actually gonna stop. Well, don't just stop cold turkey, like wean off of it. Instead of smoking like a pack a day, smoke like half a pack a day and then three cigarettes. And then next thing you know, use the patches, right? You know, slowly wean yourself off. Don't just go cold turkey unless you're a beast. And if you're a beast like Kun Sean, hey, go for it. <laughs> More power to you, brother. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Try to do this thing. And I'm not going to hire a cleaner. As Good. I said, I was raised Roman Catholic. I view this as a penance. Good. And I, I think I need to do this for myself. I need to take accountability for bad Pay things for your sins. and for letting my life get this out of control. And I don't need to get out of jail free card. So I need That's to do that for myself. Fair. That's a and man. Closure as well. That is a and man. I think also I, I want to live for the, the, <laughs> the, the idiots out there that, you know, they're, uh, you know, like looking to me to be a role model, right? Oh, not a good idea. But uh, there are people that will see that and um, they'll think maybe to themselves, maybe I should do the same thing. Yes. And if I can do that for one person, yes. Um, well, that's I've good. already done it for myself. I've already done a good thing, and so it could only get better. And so that's what my plan is. I'm going. I'm only to try to like. I love it. Rethink. I love it. Life. I love it. I I've love had it. a lot of people reach out to me. People I, love I would it. have never expected to reach out to me. It's good to see Asmund grow. Just like it was good to see Pippa grow, it's good to see Asmund Gold grow. Good. And. I understand that, you know, like, I, I, I'm, I'm still very critical about, you know, religious fundamentalism, right? Fair. But when you paint with such a broad brush that you just include an entire group of people. Bro, there's people arguing in the chat, bro. I just read somebody said, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. I watch him often. He said he didn't care about the something he had to come back because his inferior culture. You go watch it, sheep. Stop using meme phrases like a bot. Like, right. bro, what are y'all fighting about? But when you about? paint with such a broad brush that you just include an entire group of people. You're not, you're just being a fucking at, you're being a piece of shit. True. It, it's like people said it was racist. I didn't mean it as racist, but if you listen to what I said, it's easy that you could assume that. So easy. And it's such a shitty situation because the people who don't like Aswin are just going to club him over the head on Twitter regardless, bro. True. That's true. He, he apologized That's because true. he genuinely, feel, genuinely feels like he's wrong. And takes, that takes a lot of strength to do. But yeah. Twitter and Reddit schizos are just going to use it as like a fucking bludgeoning weapon over his head over and over. But like you said yourself, they're Reddit and Twitter schizos. These are people that are chronically online. So why the hell do you care about what chronically online people think about you? They can't even go out and fend for themselves in the real world. Why does it matter what they think? You tell me. Literal, terrible, dog shit, single digit IQ people, you can't appease so them. So why does it They're matter? take this it doesn't and matter, run man. with it that he's a racist and we finally got proof. We got proof he's a racist. And I, th I, I think to anyone with a brain who's approaching this in good faith can see he's not a racist and his original argument stemmed from being critical of Sharia law. Yeah. Like genuinely. So I'm I'm just a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking moron. I've been an asshole. I think that I've devolved for the last two years. I think that I've negatively affected other people too in ways mm. that I, mm. I, I, I hate, I, I, I don't even hate to say this. Like, I, I think I need to say this. I need to say it more. I, I've, I've negatively affected people in ways that I regret. I think whenever I go back live That's again, I'll big. probably talk about that more. And That's big. I don't know if he's talking about his business That's affiliations big. or personal friendships. But if it's the former, like, yeah, I feel like as as the leader or just like a, com a, a political commentator in general, you do yourself no favors employing people and owning a business. Just don't have ties to anyone or anything so you can speak your mind about everything and not have to worry about how your opinion affects the paycheck and like the status of like their their life for of someone else. It's I mean, yeah, that's absolutely true. Mm -hmm. but it's too late for that he's already a businessman he's already a business owner but yeah um he should definitely be careful with the things that he says as being a businessman and being a business owner yeah same thing for me you know even though i like preaching what i like to preach and i try and do it positively i know that people can take it and they can misconstrue it so even like in the future like right now we're at forty thousand subs 
appreciate you guys. Whenever we start getting more and more, like, yeah, sometimes your boy Kunshan might have to relax a bit. And that's when I'll say, yeah, I made a video talking about it. Go check it out. Like, boom, now go watch this long ass Asmin Gold video and get some game. <laughs> it sucks the world is- Bro, how long is this video, bro? Like, I've been watching this for like almost two hours, right? One hour, okay, almost an hour and a half. The way it is, but it, it so is bad. the way it is. You can't do anything about it. You it's know, like the there's some just different people I kind of want to apologize to and, you know, That's take fair. accountability for things that I've said and, and done that have negatively affected other people in ways that were unfair and wrong. And, um, that's what my plan is. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I want to say that uh, I, I hope that now, after you've heard what I have to say, that a lot of you all can see kind of why I'm saying that I appreciate this. I'm, mm. I really think that this is something I needed. And I hope that this is the next part of the rest of my life. And I want you guys to hold me accountable to that. Good. So if I'm being Fair a enough. fucking asshole again, if I'm being mean, if I'm just being callous, acting like a psychopath, just treating people awfully outside of a wow raid when they get killed by fire, <laughs> but really um, <laughs> laughing at people's misfortune, <laughs> try to say, man, just chill the fuck out. Stop it. What's, just stop. And I hope his community can actually do that because his community are people that are online all the time as well. Um, so unless they can actually take a step back and realize when this is happening, right? Because there definitely could be a time where he's slowly divulging back into it and then people are enjoying it. And so they don't check him or they don't correct him or maybe they just really don't know. Hopefully they could actually let him know if he if he is messing up. And hey, if Kunshan has to do it, I'll do it myself. I'll be like, damn, this, this is an L. Asman video and then it'll get disliked and I won't give a damn, right? Because I got my community that got my back, right? Free thinkers, let's go. And I'm going to do my best to listen. I spent two years ignoring it, and look where it got me. This is not even the tip of the iceberg of the problems in my life. And Damn. I, okay. of course not. I, I want to thank everybody for everybody making me problems. aware that that's the case. And hopefully I can avoid the iceberg, right? And so I want to say uh, that's pretty much about all I've got. Uh, I sorry for a lot of people I let down, uh, not uh -huh. just with comments like this, but also just with the way I've been doing things in general. I think that you guys deserve a much better version of me than what you've been getting, and I hope that I can live up to that in the future. And uh, I, I don't, I don't even want to think about it in the future, right? As soon as I get unbanned, we're gonna. I'm the best apology is better content, change True. behavior. And that's what I hope to do. True. So yeah. Anyway, Man. guys. Um, I'm just w. gonna focus on myself for a while, try Good. to improve my own life, Good. and uh, there's a lot of things I, I think, again, I'll probably talk about more whenever I go live again, that are like more kind of, uh, you know, just like kind of in the weeds, like personal stuff, but um, overall, that's the big picture, that's where I'm at, and so uh, anyway, uh, that's about all I've got, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna try to just take this time off to, uh, you know, really kind of fix my shit. So yeah, anyway, guys, that's about it. I'll see you later. Bye. He's gonna clean his house. He's gonna clean his house, chat. Isn't yeah, that that's insane? A big step. That's a big step. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> that's a big step. My All right, Alana. God. What you gotta say, Alana? Yeah. That was a lot to take in. I didn't want to like talk over him too much because he, he said a lot of personal shit. I don't know Asmund as a person at all. Um, yeah, I still think he's a little, being a little bit too self-critical. I hope his content doesn't change too much. Um, we love Asmund. Like, you, you hear? She doesn't want his content to change too much because she likes the idea of Asmund. Right. And this is and this is like I'm not saying Alana's terrible for doing this because this is legitimately everybody. Right. And I'm, I'm about to talk to the viewers real quick, talking to you guys. If you guys want to become better and you want to do different things, sometimes you got to let go of the past. And when you let go of the past, the people that are back there, right, the old friends, the old fans, whatever it is, they're not going to like the change because it's different. But if you want to become better, well, then you got to become different. It doesn't make any sense for you to become better and then do the same shit that you did that got you in the same predicament. It doesn't make sense. So yeah, he will have to change the content. Whether he changes it drastically, I'm not too sure. But at the end of the day, I hope he does change it. I hope he changes for the better because I like seeing people grow. I don't like to pigeon-toe and hold people to the same type of shit that I personally liked about them. If they want to do something better, I say, hey, let them do better. And if you don't like that they're doing better, then just stop watching. And it is what it is. Find something else. 
It just is what it is. This is another human being. And they want to change, let them change, bro. And I'm like I said, I'm not saying Alana is terrible or anything like her statement. I'm not dragging her when I'm dragging the statement that she made. I'm dragging the people that would drag her statement. And the people that are honestly taking it to that level. I'm talking to them. I'm not necessarily talking to her. As a content creator. Um, but maybe take a break from like actual, like literal politics. I think that would be for the best for him. I think he got he got to this point because he's always says he's not afraid, not afraid to say whatever people are thinking. And I always notice that he will comment on literally anything. His Reddit upvotes, like his Reddit, like kind of filters itself, right? And his Reddit right now is like every single political controversy is always getting voted That's up crazy. to the top. And then he has to look at it because That's if he crazy. doesn't look at it, he can't shy away from anything. That's crazy. Which means he has to have an opinion on literally every single fucking thing that happens in the world. And I think that gets really fucking tiring. I thought about not talking about this today personally because it's a fucking headache. And the only reason I decided to do it is because I've publicly said how much I like Aswin and everyone knows I watch Aswin and everyone knows like I'm influenced by Aswin and I'd be a coward to not talk about this despite being so vocal about how I look up to him just because it's a hard topic, right? Good, Alana. Good. Like, you know, whatever. Praise. Give her praise. <sighs> praise her. But Aswin talks about everything. You know what that is? That's bravery. And that's exactly why I respect Alana. And that's why she got the that's why she got this like because she deserved it. Every single topic. I couldn't do it, man. It's not my thing. I know myself. I'd get off the rails. I'd fight people in the comments. I'd fight people in chat. I develop Yeah, you need to grow, Alana. You can't be fighting people just because they disagree with you. Hypertension in less than two weeks, and then I'd have an aneurysm. So I hope that at least you and, and like you're you're actually getting hurt by doing such things yeah definitely take a break you guys you chat comments whatever like you could i hope you never expect that from me like genuinely like, i don't want to get one guy i don't want to fucking freak out like i just <laughs> i expect you to be racist and sexist okay man this one my boss would type that okay also, guys, I don't give a shit about Hassan getting away with murder and saying similar things, uh, but from the opposite side and not getting banned. I care about Asma because I look up to him. Twitch's political bias is a political topic that I'm not going to touch. I don't watch Hassan. I don't want to watch Hassan and confirm or deny if Twitch is being biased. I don't care. It's 2024. Political bias is everywhere, bro. True. It is what it is. All right, so yeah, that was the uh, Asmin Gold Smug Alana video, and it was an amazing reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope people got to get some type of uh, external motivation to grow, because that's all I really care about. I care about seeing other people become better, because I want other people to get better so that more things in general can get better. You feel what I'm saying? If not, go watch my other videos because I've already talked about it several times and this video is long enough. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's your boy, Kunshan. If you enjoyed the video and you want more videos like this, more reactions like this, join the Discord link down below, drop the video in the video request section and I'll check it out and I'll talk about it. And until next time, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Think of, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I want to upgrade the, the channel. Um, I have a great camera, as you can see, like it moves and follows me. Like this is cool, but I do want to get a better microphone. But like right now I'm traveling. So like this setup, this ain't even my normal setup. If this is your first time watching me, this is not my normal setup, right? I'm traveling right now, but I do want to get a better microphone for better audio quality. So uh, uh, maybe we can get... Uh, another editor a better editor you know we're gonna pay somebody to have better edits so we can actually like chop down this video so it's more digestible for more people and yeah thank you guys for watching so become a member link in the description join the foundation 4.99 a month i appreciate it and all that money goes right back into the channel every single cent none of this goes towards like this lifestyle that i live this is just something i already had um I just want to create more videos that actually engage people 
mentally and emotionally. So yeah, if you enjoy this and you want to experience more of this, please think of becoming a member, link down below, and hit the like button and subscribe. It's your boy Kun Sean signing out. Bye-bye.